Hi, I'm Harry Crass from the Family Business Resource Centre. What we're going to talk about here is the Family Charter. The Family Charter covers all the issues that we often talk about within the family business context. The starting point of it though are the values of the particular family which need to be clearly enunciated plus also how those translate into business val values and are brought together in a set of values that's right for this family in business together. Once we have those, we have a strong foundation on which to build the rest of our charter. With those in place, let's look at the structures. What sort of board are we going to have? How are we going to structure the business side of the equation? How do we operate the family? Are we going to set up a family council? Are we going to have a broad, broader family events? Who will have a seat at the table at, in the family council? So we'll get the structures right. The charter itself actually deals with a range of issues. I've only listed four or five of them here, but it'll deal with governance of the family business. It'll deal with employment, deals with communication, deals with leadership. Those sorts of issues that are important in uh, the life of the family business. Once we have those in place, we can then build a roof over that in the form of a charter, but we must critically think about the two pillars that will hold this together. I've called this imbue and renew. The concepts, the values that drive our family and which are encapsulated in each of these specific areas must be owned by all. We must all have a stake in them. We must feel them at our core. They must be imbued through the culture of our family. And at the same time, we need to build in mechanisms to renew that. Are we going to have a family retreat every 12 months where we revisit our charter, see what's working and what's not, Think about new issues that are arising, because that'll always be the case. Think about the new issues that are arising that we need to deal with in our charter so that we're renewing it, but it's also part and parcel of how we operate as a family. We can then drive that down to specific criteria. And out to the side here, I've started to look at our employment uh, box. What are some of the things we need to think about? Are we going to offer a guarantee of employment to every family member? Where are we going to draw the line on the family versus business perspective? Are we going to be closer to the business professionalised end, end of the scale or are we going to be viewing it solely uh, through family criteria? So there will be issues such as a guarantee of employ employment, remuneration. Are we going to require outside experience? Will there be performance criteria, KPIs set in place for family members? What do we do with non-performing family members? How do we respond to that? And a range of other criteria that relate to employment and then leadership, ownership, communication. This is a very powerful framework for pulling all of these things together. It's really about using the family charter as a way of protecting the family in business. It's foundation of the strong values that a family brings to the equation. And around those values, we can then build specific rules, regulations uh, and thoughts so that what we're talking about are ru the rules that we are prepared to live by rather than the rules we want to set for others to obey. With those in mind, we know that we can apply the family values through to specific family issues.